What's going on guys? Today in this video, we're gonna take a look at the Opove M3 Pro. All right guys, so just a disclaimer, this massage gun was provided to me by Opove, but we had no prior agreement with us to do a positive negative review. This is my own thoughts on this product, and they won't get the chance to review this video before it goes live on YouTube. They'll be watching it for the first time, just like you guys are. So let's talk about massage guns and massage guns in general. You know, I have done a lot of reviews on massage guns. I think I've done about seven reviews on seven different massage guns. So I know what to look for in massage guns and what I consider a good one or a bad one. And I'll put all that knowledge I've learned from reviewing all these other massage guns into reviewing this one. So yeah, this is the M3 Pro by Opove. And you guys probably know how massage guns work. Massage guns work to you know alleviate muscle pain. They'll actually bring more blood flow into the tissue, into the muscle, and will help speed the recovery process. So that's why massage guns are important. And for me, I don't like to foam roll. I do have a lot of foam rollers, but but I don't use them. I can say I use massage guns probably every day, especially at night whenever I'm massaging. And if you are a runner, you know that if you touch the massage gun to your calf or to your Achilles or your lower calf area in the back, man, that, that place needs to be massaged. Uh, it's painful, but uh, in a good way. It's a painful in a good way. So that's why I like massage guns. And uh, let's talk about this one. So let's first talk about the looks of it. The looks is a good looking massage gun. It's all black. This one is the black variant. Uh, looks very similar to all the other massage guns. Uh, nice little matte black finish over here. Uh, over here is the battery. This is a removable battery. You just have to press this button over here and the battery should come out. So there you go. So this will last you about three hours and you can use this up to 10 minutes at a time and it'll have an automatic shut off, but you can just turn the machine right back on after you're done using it. So let's put this battery back in. So if you look over here, you'll see the top part right here is the motor. This is the motor. This is the motor casing and this is a brushless motor. The back over here is where you'll see the only button. This is the only button. This will change the frequency of the massage. So you could go from 40 hertz to 50 hertz to 60 hertz. And then uh, over here will be your power display. Speaking of power, the power to turn it on is on the bottom right here. So you just turn it on like that and then it lights up. So, so you'll see that it's green. So that means it's fully charged. You'll also have the power display over here. See that it's 100% and then you can turn it on. But first, let's take a look at the carrying case. So all massage guns nowadays do come with a carrying case and the Opove is no different. This comes with a nice carrying case. It looks very you know, unique to them because it does have the stamped look of the Opove logo over here. And then uh, you can open it up and you'll have the machine with everything in it that you need. You have the charger, you'll have the gun, and then you'll have the four different heads. So let's take a look at the different heads. The heads are gonna be the flat head over here. You have the bullet head. You have the spinal head, sorry, or multi-point head. And then you have the foam ball head. So those are the different heads. Different uses, foam ball generally for softer areas. Again, the spinal head. For the spine or if you want to to massage two different points at the same time the bullet head to really work in and get those muscles and then the flat head for a softer massage and those bigger muscles there's one thing that i have to mention about the heads and that is the quality of the heads you can see over here that it has a little line so that's from the molding so basically they put it in the molding the plastic and then they will put them together and a lot of other massage guns i have they don't have that that little line right there so that just speaks to the quality of this one. Maybe not the best massage guns that I've seen. You can see it's also on here, there's a little line. And then over here on the flat head, you also have a little line right there. You can see right there. Uh, not a really big issues, but it's just something that I noticed that this massage gun has different than other ones. Maybe not the best looking massage head attachment. Uh, probably could have worked a little bit better on that. So it's uh, more seamless than what it is. All right, so let's go to the functionality of the massage gun. So right here, you just have to turn it on by pressing this button. And there are three different settings. Like I said, it goes from 40 to 50 to 60 Hertz. So right there, and you can tell it's really quiet, super, super quiet. This is the second one. And this is the third setting. So, so yeah, that's how it works right there. Just have to find the muscle part and massage it. The amplitude of this massage head is 12 millimeters. So from, from here to there, 
that's 12 millimeters. For a lot of massage guns, it's about 10 millimeters. And I think that the amplitude of massage gun, so from here to there, will affect the power of the massage gun. And it'll tell you if it's more of a vibration massage or a punchy massage. I tend to like the more punchy massages where you can feel it dig deep into your body. It'll, it'll punch your body pretty deep. This one is a 12 millimeter head. So I would rate this more of a vibration type of massage. Uh, it's not too punchy. Like you'll see it's not super punchy. It's more just vibrating. And the stall force on this thing that will also affect the power of the massage is about 30 pounds. So you can actually stop this one pretty easy. So it's not the most powerful gun. Uh, the stall force is pretty low and I don't want to do that too many times because I don't want to break the massage gun. Uh, you're not going to generally push so hard into a muscle where you're going to stop it because that's going to be really painful. But for a massage gun that is more vibration than punchy, I think that the stall force could be a little bit stronger. So you can really dig deep in there and just help that vibration, you know, and massage at the same time. So whenever you're working a muscle, you could almost, you know, use this to massage and that vibration will also help alleviate the pain. Not super punchy, but you know, more vibration than punchy for sure. And then, like I said, this will last you about 10 minutes when you're using it and then it will auto shut off, but you can turn it right back on and it'll last you for three hours. I generally don't use it for more than five to 10 minutes. So that's perfect. I never had the auto shut off go off of me. So yeah, that's really a non-issue. All right, so let's talk about the price of this massage gun. This is priced at $199 on Amazon. I think it's $189 on their website, but on Amazon, there's like an instant coupon for $40 off. So it brings it down to 160 bucks. And then on the website, there's a 10% discount. So it's pretty much the same price, about 160 to 170. And that's a little bit pricey for me, especially when there's so many other massages out there. Uh, I think that, you know, that's a little bit high for this massage gun. I would like to see this at probably closer to 120 to 140, but I'll talk about why I think that in my pros and cons. So let's go on to those pros and cons. So for the pros of the M3 Pro, uh, it has a nice case. It's a nice color. I like the black, I like the look. It ergonomically fits well in the hand. Some massage guns just aren't well balanced. This one is pretty well balanced in the hand. I like the length of the handle. You get into certain parts of the upper back and also the lower back, so that's good. The battery life is good at three hours and I do also like the detachable battery. So if you really want to use this for a long time, you could get an extra battery and just switch it out. So those are the pros for me. As far as the cons, the cons is gonna be the amplitude. I just don't think that it's punchy enough. I like to really get punched. Uh, for some people, they like to have a lighter massage. I know that my girlfriend doesn't like a super punchy massage. So if you like a lighter massage, a massage that's not gonna be too punchy, maybe something like this will be better for you, a more vibration than a percussion massage for sure. The next con that I'm gonna talk about is the quality of it so you can see right there there is that seam on the head uh, not not the best looking quality for that and then my last comp for this massage gun is going to be the price i think that at 199 originally that's really high there are a lot of different massage guns that you could buy at that price point that may have a bigger amplitude maybe more powerful this for me is like a mid-range massage gun it's not the most powerful and it's not the weakest so this is going to be kind of an average massage gun so because of that because of the price because it's more vibration than punchy i'm gonna give this a goku runners like meh so it's gonna be like you know, you could buy this if you want to, but there are definitely other massage guns that are better. In fact, I think that there's an Opove M3 Pro Max that they have that is gonna have a bigger amplitude and it's only like 20 bucks more. So uh, for my money, I would probably go and buy the Opove Max than this one because uh, this one is more vibration. And if you want a lighter massage, this is gonna be something that you're gonna wanna look at. So yeah, it gets a Goku Runner kinda for me but uh, maybe it's something that you'll like. And hopefully this review helped you make a choice on your massage guns. And I'll have a playlist to all the massage gun reviews up ahead. You guys can check that out, see what other massage guns I've reviewed. And if you guys enjoyed the video, give me a like, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.